All right, guys, now we're gonna work one of my favorite knee bars from on bottom. This one's off the Kiss of the Dragon. All right, so reverse deli heva. It's a really effective knee bar. I attacked this one on Craig Jones. I wasn't able to get the finish, but it was very tight. And uh, this knee bar works all the time. So we're here in reverse deli heva. I'm gonna use my toes on the hips. That way I can control his hips, all right? And now I keep the frames inside. What I'm going to do is underhook his knee, all right? Or underhook his ankle, swimming in. Just the classic start of the reverse deli heba kiss of the dragon. All right, now from here, I'm going to invert. I use my hand on my armpit to help me spin, right? And I stay in tight. I'm not extending, I'm keeping everything in tight, my knees to my chest, right? And I instantly grab this other leg right here. And now, once I'm in this position, I'm going to lift the heel with my right hand, right? And I'm going to circle my right leg inside. Right? I'm gonna circle inside, come around, and then chomp. Right? And as soon as I chop, I'm bringing my heel as tight as I can to my opponent's butt right here. Right? Here. Now, I'm going to pull at the heel. Right? Bring the toes to my neck. And it's, this is the most important part of the technique is keeping the foot pinched to your head. Right? If you don't, he's gonna be able to spin out either way. Spin, chomp, spin. Right? So, come back. Keeping the toes to your head is gonna slow down the spin, all right? Now, from here, I'm going to chop, engage, go double hands on the heel, and now, just like an arm bar, going to pull tap, pull the heel, or the heel to the side, and then engage my hips, right, into the kneecap, all right? I like to add a little bit of a rotation, boom, right? And if my opponent rips out and spins, boom, right? He spins right into an inside heel hook. You guys gotta notice that that's his reaction. That's gonna happen. Come on top again. All right, so from this situation, if I can't get the knee bar and I'm pulling and he spins out and he aggressively goes, inside heel hook, pull, and catch the heel, right? Come back on top. Well, frames for here in reverse belly heba. You see right now, I don't have my toes on his hips. Right now, this is more of a knee slide. So before I even start the technique, oh, I get my toes on his hips to control. Now I'm ready to go. I push, I pull, and I spin underneath. All right, using that push and pull will help a lot. Come here. All right, especially if he's putting a lot of pressure. Well, I push, I use the momentum, and I spin underneath. All right, now once I'm from here, I'm going to elevate this leg and trap this other leg. All right, I'm gonna circle my foot and then chop right here, right behind the butt. Once I do that, I need to glue my hips. I don't wanna stay lazy like this. I need to glue my hips to his knee, right? Keep everything tight and then I go double hands on the heel. You guys see how his toes are away from my head? This is wrong, I need to glue his feet to my head right here, right? And now once I'm in here, I'm gonna pull the heel, engage my hips, go for the knee bar, right? If I cannot get the knee bar and he spins out, I'm gonna stuff and enter into the heel hook, right? You guys are gonna have to, have to realize that your opponent's gonna spin one way or the other. There's only two ways he can go, right? He almost, he can't really spin what, uh, this direction because I have his heel, right? So it's gonna be very difficult to spin out this way. So most likely he's gonna go into the other direction and that's when we stuff and enter the heel, right? As long as we have this heel hook, we can recapture the knee line later, right? And from here, or we're just dropping the elbow, and engaging our hips, boom. Come back up. Show it one more time, kind of full speed. We're here on my bad side. <laughs> I go, I underhook, boom. I control the other leg, I lift, I circle, boom, I lock. Now once I'm here, I go double hand to the heel, Right, and now I'm going to chop and then engage. Right, chop and engage. The second that this does not work, you guys can pull this leg out for extra pressure too. Boom, tap, right. And the second that this doesn't work, if he, he's probably gonna spin out at this point, I'm gonna stuff the toes into my heel, right? And now most of the time you guys get here, your opponent's leg is gonna be straight, right? So if I just crank, there's gonna be not really much of a, knee, of a heel hook at all. 
So the most important thing from here is finding that knee line and bending the knee before I start to uh, rip the heel hook, right? Now that I have his knee and I have the pressure coming in, I'm able to use the heel. Boom. Boom. You have anything you want to add? Um, just making sure you're bringing through your hips. Right. You know, that's pretty much it. Not always.